Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to automate another test case under the register account functionality. The test case number is 22. So let's get started. First, let's understand what the test case is all about. After that, okay, I am going to show you how to automate this particular test case. Fine. The test case number 22 under the register account functionality says that verify the password text entered into the password and password confirm field of register account functionality is toggled to hide its visibility. Okay. We need to verify that the password text that has been entered into the password and password confirm fields of the register account functionality is toggled to hide its visibility. What does it mean? So we need to open the application URL as per the steps and all those operations and all. Just open the application. In the test case, we have the test and we need to go to the register account page. As per the steps, we need to click on my account drop down uh, drop menu and then select the register option so that we'll be taken to the register account page. And then we need to enter some password text into the password and password confirm fields. Okay. Then we need to enter some password text into the some text into the password. Okay. Whatever the password you want to, uh, you know, provide while creating this account, you enter into the password and password confirm fields. Let's say I'm trying to enter one, two, three, four, five, but you see, the password is toggled. The visibility of the password is toggled here. Okay. It's not visible because password is something sensitive, right? Okay. This is not a text box field is a password field. Okay. Similarly, if I type the text into the password confirm field, this password confirm field also should hide the visibility of this particular text. Okay. It's not uh, the other person who is sitting right to us. Okay. We know that what is the password we are typing into the password fields, but we don't want the other people who are sitting right next to us, okay, right or left, should not be able to see what password we are typing into these fields, okay, it should be secure, okay, as part of security reasons, the text should not be visible to anyone else, okay, we know that what we are typing here, but other people should not know, so that there is a possibility that they can guess our password and, you know, can log into our application or get access to the, our uh, account in, our, in the application, okay, so to avoid that to happen, the application has, you know, toggled the visibility of these passwords. How to verify that these password fields, whatever the text I'm entering into this password and password confirm fields are not visible to the users in the form of text. Rather, the visibility of this particular text is toggled here, okay, to hide the text, okay, to hide the text or visibility of the password. The toggling of the visibility was there implemented in these fields. We have to verify that using the automation code, okay. So we need to enter some password text into the password and password confirm fields. And here expected result one is password text that has been entered into the password and password confirm fields need to be toggled to hide its visibility. It should not be, it should, sorry, it should be hidden by displaying either hashtag symbol or some kind of bullet symbols. Okay. So that's happening manually when I have verified this by typing some text into the password password I, password confirm i was able to clearly see that this is working fine okay the same thing i need to confirm with the help of automation code for that to happen guys i'll open this uh, eclipse id under this package i'm going to create a new class i'll just name this uh, class as uh, tc underscore rf underscore 022 with main method i'll create or we can create with the help of test and test method also. So in the previous test, we have used test and test method. So we'll continue uh, creating the test and test methods instead of the main method. I'll delete the main method, guys. I'll delete the main method and create a, a one sample method. There is a, some method public void verify uh, visibility visibility toggling of password fields fields on you can give any bigger name not a problem okay register account okay register account like this give some understandable name for the method and this provide this method with at the rate test annotation over the mouse on this at the rate test annotation and import this from test ng library and here write down web driver web driver just increase the font a bit. Web driver driver is equal to new. Chrome driver. Put a semicolon. Over the mouse. 
I need to import this web driver and Chrome driver. Already Selenium library is there. I have to simply say, if, if you're not getting, when you hold the mouse, if you are not getting the import statement, simply say, Control Shift O. Once the web driver interface is imported from Selenium library, once the Chrome driver class is imported from Selenium library, then write down driver dot manage, driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. I also write one more line that is driver dot uh, driver dot manage dot timers dot implicitly wait. Then say duration dot off seconds. Okay. Then say duration dot off seconds and say three seconds and simply write down driver dot get. Okay, provide double quotes here and uh, give the application page URL here. Let's say, copy this, paste it here. Okay, open the application page URL, open the application page URL in the browser. After that, I need to click on the My Account drop menu. For that, I inspected this My Account and we got this HTML code. I'll copy this particular text between the tags, span tags, control, we have double forward slash span text is equal to okay like this if i say this will locate the my account drop menu copy this xpath expression and come back here and simply write down driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression of that my account drop menu and simply say dot click okay dot click dot click once i click on this my account drop menu and if you want to select the register option okay now let's say if you want to, uh, you know, inspect this register option, inspect this uh, register option and uh, copy this uh, register option, which is a link text locator, you see, the text between the tags, we can use as link text, I copied the text between the tags of the anchor tag and here I'll write down to select the register option, I'll write down by dot link text and say dot click and simply say dot click here. Once I click on that, it will select the register option and you'll be taken to the register account page. Once you go to the register account page here, password and password confirm fields are there. Inspect this password field. Inspect this password field. And, uh, you know, without even typing any text into the password field, we can find out whether the text which, which I will be entering into the password field will get toggled or not. How to verify that, guys? If I inspect this password field and in the HTML code, I, and in the HTML code, if you have the type as password, okay, this input type, if it is text means the text will be visible here. You see, if I inspect this telephone field, your type will be, type is some telephone number is there, inspect the first name field otherwise, type is equal to text is there, okay. That means whatever the text I enter, it is visible here because the input tag name having the type attribute value is text, okay. For most of the fields, the type text will be there. Your type is email. That's okay. But coming to the password, the type is password. Okay. If the type attribute value is password, then we are good to go. Okay. How to verify this, that this password field and uh, password confirm fields, the text entered into this password and password confirm fields are getting toggled to hide the visibility of the password. Once I enter the text, the text, text visibility is getting toggled to hide its visibility to other people surrounded by you. Right. So instead of that, we are getting some asterisk symbols or some dot kind of symbols for that to come the developer of this particular fields should, okay, create these fields, okay, should uh, build these fields in the HTML code, they have to write type is equal to password should be there, okay. For these fields, the type should be password for that to happen, okay. So to, how to verify this, this password and password uh, confirm fields that text entered into these fields are, you know, toggled visibility, the text entered into password and password confirm fields is toggled the visibility to hide the password from the other people. If the type, if the input type of this, but if the field type is input and whose password, uh, whose type is password, whose value of the type attribute value is password, then we can confirm that. Okay. So further to verify guys, I'll just copy the ID attribute value of the password field, ID attribute value of the password field to locate the password field and here write down. Okay. Uh, here I'll write down asset dot asset equals Asset dot asset equals expected is what? What is the expected one? Expected is type should be password is expected. Okay. Type should be password. Actually is driver dot find element by dot ID provide the ID locator of that uh, driver dot find element by dot ID and provide the ID locator of that uh, password field to locate that particular password field. I'm just giving that and here I need to say dot get attribute 
get attribute command and here provide double quotes okay driver dot find element by dot id dot get attribute here provide get attribute of which attribute guys type attribute whose value should be retrieved as password if it is matching with this password which is expected then that is will pass similarly one more assertion for this password confirm field in the same way just copy the same line guys copy the same line assertion should be same the assert statement will be same and here password will be there here driver dot find element by dot id input confirm will be there input confirm will be there copy this input confirm and say get attribute of type so when you retrieve the type attribute value of the input confirm you should get the password if they both match you are good to go finally i'll say driver dot pit this how simple is to verify that uh, the text that is getting entered into the password and password confirm fields okay is uh, toggled to hide its visibility or not okay if it is toggled to visibility the html code of that particular fields should have the type attribute value mentioned as password okay if that is the thing you see i can prove you that okay how can i prove you for example if i inspect this first name field the type is text right so if i say one two three four five can you see this text yes i can see this particular text because the input input field having the type is equal to text is there but what if the type is equal to password is there if i edit this okay this is temporary change i am doing is okay if as an external user if i am trying to modify the html code of these fields right okay it uh, you know it will be applied temporarily un until you refresh the page or reload the page or restart the browser or whatever it is okay the, uh, you see you see the moment i say type is equal to password you see now the visibility got toggled again if i convert it to text back if i change it to text you see again the text is visible okay so we have to simply verify that password and password confirm fields have the type mentioned as password if you confirm that uh, this particular test case will be done guys you don't have to do more than that so hope guys you understood how to this kind of you know something new we have learned this okay though this is a simple test case that we have automated as part of this session but ultimately we have learned something new how to verify that okay we are uh, that extended into the password fields okay uh, is toggled for the visibility or not okay how to verify that in this particular session i showed you one of the way there may be other ways also but uh, if i have to automate this i will follow this way guys and with this guys uh, in this session i have automated the another test case also as part of this I automated another test case also in the next session i'm going to automate the next test case that is a 23rd test case under the register account functionality okay there are a few more test cases to be completed under the register account functionality that is 20 to 27 like around uh, five test cases are there so the next test case is something like verify navigating to other pages using the options or links provided on the register account page okay okay this is going to be very you know in-depth uh, test case because a lot of options we need to verify okay we need to write a lot of code for this particular automating the test case. So that's all. That's fine. Okay. We'll see that in the next uh, session. Okay. Automating this particular test case will uh, in the next session. We'll see for now in this session, I have completed. Okay. The second 20 second uh, test case. Okay. Automated complete automated the 20 second test case as part of this session. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.